Okay. Are we on? I think we're on. Hell yeah. Hi everyone. Welcome to Fantasize Me Draws. I'm your host, Zach Katz. And today, we're gonna draw. So I haven't streamed in a bit because I've just been busy and tired. But I hurt my wrist, so I'm currently not working because I do stocking at a grocery store and it won't really it won't really be good to stock with a wrist injury you know lifting lifting heavy things but anyway so I figured I would draw because I've I've wanted to do a drawing stream for a bit now and I figure you know why not I have the time. So I think that is what we are going to do. We're just gonna we're just gonna draw a little bit. Yeah. We're just gonna we're just gonna do some doodles. So I think first off first off we're gonna draw just like a little guy. Okay? I think we're just gonna draw a little guy. Um, I haven't, I haven't drawn in a while, like a month, but here we go. I did some, some warmups just drawing hands, but anyway, we're going to draw a little guy. So let's see. I think what's important in a little friend, I think they're going to be wide. I think they're going to be a very wide lad. That's terrible. I mean, there we go. So, very wide. Let's do wide eyes as well. Big wide eyes. These are awful shapes. I clearly did not warm up enough. Nice wide shapes here. Mm, let's do a wide nose. Mm. Nice wide nose. And then let's see. Okay, wide wide body, wide eyes, wide nose. Let's do a freaking, uh, you know what? We're going to do, tiny mouth. A tiny mouth because he's good at keeping secrets. How do I get? How do I get? How do I get? No. There we go. So a nice, a nice tiny little mouth. And let's see, what else does this little lad need? I'm thinking. I'm thinking a little lad feet. Huh? Yeah. How about bloop? That's not how you draw feet. There we go. That's good enough. <laughs> he looks like such a goober. I love it. There we go. And so I don't have to do that again because clearly I, I can't draw feet. I'm just going to copy and paste. And then I'm going to rotate. How do I invert? Again, I, I haven't drawn in a really long time. And even before... 
uh, before this. I ha I'm not really used to this program. I've, I've never really used a drawing program. Oh, here it is. Uh, bloop. There we go. There we go. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, look at that lad. Oh, look at them. Oh, whoops. Merge layers. How do you do that? Transfer to lower. Merge. Boop. Ha ha ha. Okay. So while I'm doing this, I'm kind of going to be like <laughs> learning the program a little bit. Let's see. Change the shape of those a little bit. There we go. Isn't that, isn't that nice? They look, they look cute. How about, how about we give them like laugh lines? Oops. How about we give them little laugh lines here? Smile lines. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. They're so happy. They're so happy. In fact, we are going to give them a little... A little... A little blush. Oh. Oh, they're so sweet. Oh, they're so sweet. Hi, Roxana. Good nose. Why don't you draw more often? I... I don't know. It's because the, the drawing tablet I have, it only works on my sister Steph's computer. So, at the moment, she is not here. She is in another state. So, I have full access. So, I figured, why not take advantage of it and do a little drawing? So, let's see. Should this lad have any hair? I don't think I can draw hair well. <laughs> oh, dogs are barking about something. This is terrible. That doesn't look like anything. <laughs> Draw some tiggle biddies. Oh, I don't think I can because of Twitch's terms of service. Um, how do you draw hair? Let's make it. Make this big and just kind of go. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh yeah. Start with a general shape outline. Uh, I don't know. I think I think this is. This is fine. Oh, look at them. They're so pretty. Let's use an eraser to give some texture. Be gone, bot. Did you finish RuneScape? Oh, Rune Factory? <laughs> um, no, I did not finish Rune Factory. I haven't played it in a bit, and I've really wanted to. Um, but I just, I have not, um, 
Let's see. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I was just banning the bot. <laughs> so no, I did not finish Rune Factory. I am uh, still still playing it. I haven't streamed in a bit because I've just been busy with a new job and, you know, life. But I would very much like to like to continue playing it. Uh, so no, I have not started playing Bug Snacks. So, okay, let us, oops, I don't know what that is. Let's start another drawing. Oh, here we go. Hmm, okay, so we started with a friendly little lad. Look at them. So sweet. So cute. So how about we go, let's draw a ghost. Let's just draw whoop, classic ghost shape. Look at that. Draw a sexy ghost. I'm drawing a horrified ghost. Who has spooked the spooker? <laughs> oh, look at them. <laughs> or should that be the same way like this yeah there we go or actually bloop bloop give him a coffee there we go now he's now he's horrified Give him a coffee. Okay. There we go. Actually, let's give some color to that. There we go. Okay. So he's got his his little ghost coffee. Maybe he's horrified because his coffee is too light. He likes he likes that dark coffee. Let's see. Let's give it a little a little steam. Oh nice. Oh splendid. Maybe he burned himself. What's the lore behind this ghost coffee? Let's also give it a little... Like... It's making it float or something like that. It's spiders? There's spiders in his coffee? Oh no... Oh no. Sexy spiders. Oh man, how do you even Okay. Okay, I got it. Let's zoom in a bit. This spider here. Wearing a thong. Look at that. Look at that. This one. This one's wearing nothing. This one has a little thong there. And nothing else. So let's see. How about. This spider. Hmm. 
This spider is going to be... What's sexy? Oh, this one's wearing, like, a lycra skin tight suit. There we go. Hard to tell, but it is in skin tight lycra. Damn, did I draw these spiders too sexy? I think I might have. Wow. Wow, look at that. Oh, he's he's horrified, but at the same time, at the same time, those are too big. A little into it. Happy Groundhog's Day. It's Groundhog's Day. I've never met a groundhog in my life. We watch the movie every year. You know, I've never seen Groundhog Day. I've never seen it. Let's see. Let's draw. What else? How about... I'm looking around for inspiration. I'm not really finding, finding anything. So I guess let's just draw... Let's just draw another lad. Let's see. How about this lad? I'm going to say they have, you know, a kind of normal face. Maybe they're a little chiseled. They're, uh, they have eyes. But they're angry about something. <laughs> got their, got their, you know, mouth. Um, draw a boyfriend, a boyfriend got big ears, their heads kind of turned, so, so then I guess this ear should be kind of out there. How about... That's not where our neck goes. There? There. There? These lines is right. That's... Yeah, that's okay. God, I haven't drawn in so long. I don't know what people's bodies look like. Let's see. And the perfect boyfriend, I think, has a long neck. I think a long neck because, you know, I want someone tall... But, like, kind of kind of short and stocky limbs. Like, short, muscular limbs, but still tall. So you have to have a big neck. Let's give him a, a nice Adam's apple there. A huge Adam's apple. Oh, look at that. That's a massive Adam's apple. <laughs> and, let's see, let's move this up up a bit okay so short short it's grant o'brien <laughs> no <laughs> it's not not this time uh let's see how about wide wide shoulders very wide some may say too wide but i disagree And then the actual arms, I think, very muscular. But very short. That's it. Those are his arms. Shoulders you can sit on. Exactly. It's like, um, excuse me, sir, I can't see. There you go. Very. But then, like. There we go. That's nice. I'm running out of room here. Let me... 
Let me see if I can flip him. Give myself some more room. Nope. The canvas just isn't big enough. Well, let's just make this a little smaller then. Yeah, those are those are shoulders you can sit on. And then he's gonna have He's gonna have some hands here. Let's see, he's got a thumb, he's got the you know, other fingers. Da, da, da. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's give some, some big pancake nips. It's gonna have that like, like you know, like the stretched. That just looks like a scar. But you know when people have like really muscular pecs, like the, it looks like they're stretched kind of. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna have that. But then a really narrow, really narrow waist. And then, let's see. Ooh, okay. How about a little, little serpent tail? I made that too narrow. Hmm... Here we go. This is literally Grant. <laughs> now, this is a new boy. Or actually, yeah, that should that should come down a bit. There we go. Cause this way, it's like, oh, he's not that tall. Well, then he extends his reptilian tail and stands atop it. So he's actually, like, nine feet tall. Let's see. Let's give some... What's cool guy hairstyle? How about bangs? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. Oh, look at those bangs. Let me come down a bit. Boom. Oh, look at this boy. Over there's a belly button there. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Some, some nice obliques. I've been playing Marvel Snap a lot. And every single card in that game, they're just so muscular. Every single Marvel character. His snake belly button. Yeah. Snakes have belly buttons. Nagrant. Naga and Grant. Ugh. Oh, Roxy. Uh, yeah, but every character in Marvel Snap is so incredibly muscular. It It's, like, <laughs> kind of unnerving. Ooh, what if he has, like, hair that comes down like this? Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, covering covering one eye. Oh, my God. Superhero muscles are straight up gross. I know! 
they just look they look so weird boom nice swoopy bangs high cheekbones hmm what else for this boy I feel like we need to give some <laughs> emo, yes. Some detail on this tail. It is sorely lacking. So how about just like a fun kind of weird design thingy. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. There we go. That's fun. A neckerchief? How do you draw that? Just like kind of... There we go. Now let's... There we go, a little, little neckerchief. Looks like he's ready for a real good Hot Topic date. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's, he's definitely ready for his Hot Topic date. You know, I went to Hot Topic not too long ago uh, with my cousin because we were just, you know, we were killing time at the mall. And I was very surprised to see there was a whole display of Twilight merchandise. There was a, there was a whole display of Twilight merchandise. Like, Team Edward and Team Jacob socks, Twilight necklaces, posters. I was so confused. Okay, let's see. Let's draw. Let's see. We drew a wide lad. We drew a deceptively tall, tall lad. Start with an action line? What's... Okay, what is an action line? I I was surprised to see Twilight. Well, I, I mean, I haven't been in a Hot Topic in, like, a decade. But, yeah. Just a quick action line to get your base dynamic pose. Um... How about... Let's see. A dyn action line to get your base dynamic pose. Just a quick line to tell where you want your guy. I think I want this one lounging. Is that it? Is that what you mean? <laughs> this line? <laughs> Let's see. Yep. Okay. So head here. Let's see. Head here. Then sit, please stick figure to figure out the basic skeleton. Okay. That's kind of what I'm doing. So they'll have... Hmm. I just don't draw enough to, to know how to draw people. I was practicing hands earlier, and they're an absolute nightmare. Hands are 
hands are terrible. Um, oh, our lads. Okay. These are good. Thank you. Um, how about... Okay. Well, if they're lounging, how do I want them to be posed? Okay, how about... Yeah. Just kind of head there. Let's go down a little, and then shoulders. One will come towards us. Get into the ears, so kind of like this way. This one will be further away. Right? Or no, would it be the opposite? Ugh. Hands are literally a circle with wine sticking out. I mean, yeah. Okay, yeah, so this one would be longer. Right? I'm still, what's wrong? I'm gonna draw two. Yes! Draw! They have their hands behind head. Get down. Okay, yeah, so this will be closer. I'm so bad at perspective. I don't think I can do this. <laughs> Ugh. Need a lot. I need a lot more practice at perspective in order to draw someone like laying down. <laughs> How about ZZ Tom? Just like the guy with the big beard. I could do big beard guy. Big beard boy. Let me see. A <laughs> keyboard smash. Mm. I'm going to start with just a shape. Then let's do something with that shape. <laughs> okay. So what I'm seeing with this shape. Big teeths. There we go. Ugh, look at that. Gross. Boom. <laughs> Draw a bunny? Well, it's too late. I'm drawing whatever the hell this is. Um, but how about kind eyes? Whatever this thing is, going to have kind eyes. Oh, look how kind those eyes are. And a nice fun nose. Nice cute little, cute little nose like that. Let's actually move that so that it's in the center of the face. Oh my god, I cannot. There we go. This one. I will draw a bunny after I finish this lad. 
the big teeth lad. <laughs> bloop. 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 Hmm. Let's give them a... Yeah, what if they have this kind of face? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. This is a good lad. So what he has... He has big ol' big old teeths and let's have his little his little legs how about he's wearing just some just some shoes just some little just some little lad shoes Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Isn't that special? Nice, healthy gums. It just looks horrifying. Oops. Come on. There we go. they have they have some sweet baby blues oh look at them oh precious okay you want me to draw a bunny okay let me just remind myself what a bunny looks like bunny <laughs> Is my internet not working? I mean, it has to be working. I'm streaming. Da, 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 da. Here we go. Here, here's what bunnies look like. Okay. Let's start with ear. Here, come down here for a nice round face. Hmm. <laughs> the eyes are kind of over here. Let's have, you know, actually, let's have them sitting up a little. This bunny looks like trouble. <laughs> nah, this bunny ain't trouble. This bunny's... <laughs> this bunny's an angel. Da, 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 da. Kind of have the, the leggy. The leggy. Mm -hmm. We'll have a little, little paw on the back. A little bun bun tail. Hmm. 
<laughs> and he's fluffy. Oh, this bunny's so fluffy. Oh, the fluff. Yes. <laughs> Fluffy little bunny. Bunny's eyes are kind of completely black. There we go. I think this needs to be like down more. Yeah, like that. Okay, a nice a nice friendly bunny for you. There we go. There we go. Okay. Cute, thank you. This is a little, this is a little bun. <laughs> Do it. Let's color them a little bit. It's a good bunny color. Kind of like a light. Here we go. <laughs> and then I can put that under it. There we go. Hmm. Actually, let's keep it over. Let's darken some spots a little bit. Uh, bloop. <laughs> Just a little, a little bit of shading. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. I love how we went from this <laughs> to this. Oh, look at this little bunny. Let's let's do more with this bunny. I'm re I'm really liking them. Let's see. Do we have a da -da 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 -da. grass? What is that? Oh, that's nice. Um. Okay. Let us. Nice green. Cute. Actually, let's.
but it doesn't quite work. Okay, but can I make this its own layer? Or do I have to... No, here? Here. Here? Hmm. Uh, I guess that doesn't really work because I kind of just sprayed in. So the, the color of the bunny is opaque. But that's okay. Let's do... I think I also downloaded some brushes that are like... <sighs> Where are they? That are like clouds, but I don't know where they are. These? I think these are them. Yeah. Hmm. This behind, would that work? No. Oh, I should have done that on a separate layer. Hmm. You'd always just paint more. <laughs> Paint over it. Oh, it's above, so it's not, it's never gonna work. Well, I think that's fine. That's cute. Okay. Alright. Next drawing. Let's see. How about. Hmm. What should I draw? Actually, I want to go and... What should I take? How about Wide Lad? I want to I wanna post a picture of this so that people know just what they're missing. I think, I think Wide Lad. I'm, I'm really a fan of Wide Lad. The thing I really like about Wide Lad is that he's so wide. And I feel like that's important. Wide Lad. Very wide and also a lad. Okay. Next, let us draw. Hmm. <laughs> I like drawing animals. Maybe another. Maybe another animal. Hmm. Ooh, how about a cool sword? Let's draw a cool sword. Um, let's go back to black. Go back to my pen. I really like this pen. I downloaded it today because it's they use it a lot on Drawfee, and I'm like, okay, I have to see what's up with this pen, and it's it's very good. It it feels very good. Okay, cool sword. Let's see, what's cool about this sword? Ooh, how about... That's nothing, I just drew nothing. Can 
kind of curved a bit. Hmm. Kind of a nice curve. Those are some nice curves. Nice curves. Yeah, everyone loves a blade with a nice curve. I gotta actually get up. No, you don't. That's a lie. So a nice curve, but also a fun hand guard and pommel. See you later. All right. Bye, Roxy. Love you. Mmm... Just to get the general shape of it. Then hmm. I mean, so far this sword isn't very cool. It's just like a regular sword. That's that seems impractical. How about the pommel? Mm. I'm trying to think. How about the pommel is just like a snake? I don't remember what snakes look like, but I'm pretty sure it's this. Right? That's a snake. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's just it's just an actual snake. <laughs> Here, let's turn this a little bit so I have some room to to extend snake. Let's see. Move this down a little bit so that it can have more neck. There we go. That's not really centered. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Nice. Yeah, that's not an impractical sword at all. Curved blade, check. <laughs> Handle and pommel are an actual live snake, check. They're going to have a little... Oops. There we go. But let's, let's have it be... Like wrapped mm, how do you how do you draw again it's like this like this like this yeah there we go okay let's see what's going to be special about this sword One's just new layer. Which one's just new layer? There? Okay. So this time, instead of airbrushing it, we are going to actually fill it in. So let's see. General color we want. I think the blade's going to be blue. I think a nice vibrant blue. That might be too vibrant. Subdue that a little bit. Not blue enough. There we go. How about this guard right here? Is like goldish. Okay. Snake itself, I want to be 
nice and green. And then the wrappings can be boop boop. Oops. Boop 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 boop. Okay. And now we are going to add another layer and do brush on that. Just to add a bit of oops. A bit of detail. Set as reference layer. Ooh, still got out of hand there. There we go. Same for you. Copy the color and darken it a little bit. Copy your color, darken it a little bit. Okay, now we're going to blend a little. Uh, which one is blend? There we go. Whoop. Brush size is too big. Gorgeous. Oh, look at that. Isn't that... <laughs> Isn't that something? Hmm. There we go. There we go. This perfectly practical snake sword where the bottom is an actual snake. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's simply gorgeous. Whoa, that's very cool. <laughs> Delete. Oh, that's fun. Snake sword. Now with 90% more snake. Okay. Moving on. Let's see how long have I been streaming? About an hour. Stream a little bit longer. Mm, how about... What should I draw? I've drawn ghost who's horrified and yet kind of turned on by sexy spiders in the coffee. Wide lad, our perfect emo boyfriend. Mouth boy, just a regular bunny. <laughs> Very practical sword. How about... Ooh, I got it. pillow hell yeah oh look at this pillow it's almost too comfortable looking oh my god if i saw this pillow in the wild forget about it i'd be sleeping i would i would be oh man okay let's do something with this so the first thing i see is what if these is teeth and someone is yelling? I think you can see Ubula. No, that's scary. <laughs> Ubula's scary. Nice normal nose. An eye. Not this eye we make kind of ovular.
and they're looking actually. They're looking over here. And they're yelling about something. Boom. Very big T. The biggest T. They calling. They're calling for something. So let's see. I want their teeth to kind of come out here. So let's erase the edge of the pillow that we made. Oh, look at that. It's going to come around a little bit. <laughs> Drawing is so weird. Like a few moments ago, this didn't exist. Which is probably for the best, because it's... It's horrifying, and I'm having a hard time parsing what I'm actually seeing. But, you know? You know, I love it. I'll see some lines show you that they're yelling. They're yelling. They're screaming at the top of their lungs. Let's make their eyes even bigger. This shit's important to them. It's important that they get their message across. And that message is, ah. Just doing some... Some lips. <laughs> that's, what, that's what this needed. It needed some lips. So now we have two mouth lads... Let's have their lips be, like, a beautiful, a beautiful red. Like, they just put their lipstick on. Where is the fill? There it is. Beautiful red lips. <laughs> Inside of their mouth. <laughs> um, And let's have... Have like a beautiful kind of hazel. Oh, they're so pretty. Next, let's see, let's draw another animal. So I drew a bunny, a sword, a pillow. A couple mouth boys. So what's another... Let me just... I'm going to look up animal and see what comes up in images. Oh. The first one is a meerkat. That's interesting. Alright. I've never drawn a meerkat before. Let's do it. Oh. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Let's draw this little, little, little lad. This little meerkat lad. Start with blunt. Then let's go. See, they have like blunt, 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 blunt. Nose comes out. This is just, this is just, I'm getting general shape. They have a little mouth. They have a little nosy. Look, it's a meerkat. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Now let's draw him for real. Now that now that I get the gist. Let's see, let's start with that, and I have big, big circular eyes. Kind of comes out a bit like this for their snout. Have their little mouth, and they have their actual nose here. Kind of segmented a little bit not in the way i did it but <laughs> but just in general it's segmented a little bit see it comes up a little like that kind of hmm definitely harder for me to draw than a bunny the bunny i just busted that thing out there was no bunny and then all of a sudden it was like oh my god look at that there's one right there. It's coming at you. Take cover. But there was no time. I think the eyes need to be closer together. So let's move those. Let's move these little bits. Loop. And this one here will give that a little floop too, believe it or not. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's... That's them. Now, let's see. They have that little bit there, but then they have a little... Like, little cheekies. They kind of come up here. Go around like that. <laughs> and they have little ears that are back. Because if they're up, you know that they're in danger. Let's let's move that move that in a little bit. This whole this whole bit here. I could just lasso it. Scooch it over. Let's lasso and scooch this bit too. Good enough for now. <laughs> we're going to we're going to add more obviously, but Okay, let's see. Oh, what else we got? We have their little, their little meerkat body, little neck, and then the rest of them. Actually, their necks are fairly thin, and they should be placed, spaced properly apart. I've been listening to First Aid Kit's new album a lot, Palomino. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love First Aid Kit, and this this album especially is is simply gorgeous. Truly. Let's actually flip the canvas because meerkats are taller than they are wide. Bloop. Which means I should actually shrink this a little bit. Okay. Got their little shoulders. They come down for a little arms is so they kind of have them in front of them better than that there we go <laughs> this meerkat looks wild like absolutely deranged 
Like, if you saw this meerkat, you should just assume it's very sick. And you should run away. <laughs> I'm getting rid of this little bit. Because I'm looking at multiple images of meerkats, and that little bit makes it look odd. So I'm kind of going to kind of close that a little bit. Or should I... I'm going to bring their head, their whole head down, too. Let's make it a little bit more narrow. A little more squat. Zoop. Zoop. Okay, that's better. Made their eyes too big, too, but that's okay. I don't hate that. <laughs> Their head's so funny. Let's, let's change the shape of it a little bit. I should have picked one reference photo instead of just using a bunch. Because, yeah, their faces are a lot more squat than this. No, I don't want it to shrink. I want it to be tiny. Hmm. Well, I guess I can kind of piecemeal them down, maybe? Let's see, their heads kind of come to a little bit of a point. Then they have these, these cute ears. I'm going to show their ears. Here we go. More like that. Less, less lobey. Oh, look at them. That's... <laughs> they still look so goofy. Oh... If I, like, make their nose come down a little, make their... Mm. Let's get rid of this little piece here. I don't think we need that. They have nice, polite smiles. Very polite. They have... body coming down a bit. They have these these statuesque legs kind of bow out a little bit. Down pretty far. More tall men. Tall meerkat lads. Mmm. So cute. Let's see, we'll get to their little hands in a sec, because they are... They're really funny. Okay, and they have... Kind of go in a bit. And then come out. Move you even more. I'm just gonna block the shape of those. Let's mm. make this a little thinner. Me drawing a meerkat would be so hard. I mean, it's not even hard. I'm just not great at this. See, you can just get back in a little. Okay. 
<laughs> Should that actually go up a little? Yeah, let's move up. Up a little bit. Oh, there we go. Look at their little steppies. They're little steppers. They have these these big these kind of big toes. These big meerkat toes here. Little claws at the end. Speaking of claws, we come to their hands here. So let me move that in a little bit so it makes more sense. Okay, little claws. Their hands are very interesting in that it looks like they're showing off a manicure. In all of these pictures, they have kind of just like little, little clauses, little, little, little baby claws here. Getting a phone call. Okay. Yeah, they they're showing off their manicures, which I I do respect. Let's see, give them a little claws. Their little little bitty baby claws. This one's back a little bit. This one's back a lot. There we go. Now let's see if we can fix their fix their face at all. I think the eyes the eyes just need to be erased and redone. Let's erase this whole section here. Okay. Bloop. Let's see. This just looks like a guy now. This is literally just a guy. His name is Melvin. He loves dressing up as a meerkat. And showing off his manicure. Give a little... Give a little, uh... Bloop. Bloop. A little shine in the eye. Okay, that's... That's... <laughs> Their head is still too tall. Come on, meerkat. Be chill. <laughs> I guess that's... I guess that is better. Let's clean it up a little bit. Let's clean, let's clean this. I think that helps. Okay. All right, I think that's a, that's fine for a first attempt at America. They also have have little, have little whiskies. Oh, and they have tails. Yes, let's let's draw it. Let's see. They kind of they kind of like lay on the ground. They look very kind of puffy. There we go. There we go. There's a meerkat. There it is. <laughs> oh, they're cute though. 
though. They're cute. It's a cute little. It's a cute little meerkat. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna draw for much longer. Not because I don't want to, but because my wrist is hurting, and not even my dominant wrist. The wrist that I'm using to draw. It's just that I don't have a, like a table or a desk set up to do this, so I have a, the laptop on a little table and then the tablet in my lap and I'm using my bad wrist to kind of hold the tablet while I draw so it's aching a little bit so I think I'm gonna do one more drawing let's see what should it be what should the drawing be Hmm. I think I've drawn plenty of lads. I, re I really like this ghost. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. All right. What should I draw? If people if people watched me stream, they could suggest things, but. Oh, that's okay. How about... Ooh, how about Spider-Man? Let's see, what does Spider-Man look like? He kind of looks like... He's got a head, he's got a jaw, that's how... Yeah, okay. He's got these two, like, eye thingies that are like this. And then he has, like, web face, you know? And it kind of goes out a bit. And there's, like, webs. There's webs on him. And he has, like, a nose, I guess. And there's, there's a mouth there. He's frowning because I'm doing a bad job. And then he's got, like, this really muscular body. Truly, truly so muscular. You know what? Let's give, let's give just extra, <laughs> extra arm segments here. He's got, he's got strong wrists. Nice, thick, strong wrists. And then his, his hand, you know, he does the, the thwip. How do you, what, okay, what hand is that? So it would be out to the side here. Thwip. And then this one's just kind of, this one's a fist, ready to punch injustice. And he's got, like, huge... Like, like huge man tits, like strong man tits. I think you would call them pecs. But yeah, Spider Man. Let's see, has like, like over here. This is where his the blue ends and the red begins, or the red ends and the blue begins. And he has like over here is red again. But he's absolutely jacked. And he's doing... He's doing that, uh... He's got... Hold on, this will make sense in a sec. He's got his, like... Little feetsies. Like, thighs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that classic Spider-Man pose... Classic Spider-Man pose. And then we can... We can color in... Let's do... Ooh, a paintbrush. Watercolor? No, let's do thick. Yeah, oh, that's good. 
Let's do... Let's see, his face is red. Oh. Face is red, and then this is red. And like, body parts here are red. Then like, gloves are red. And then, what do his legs do? I think like this part. And then his boots are red. Then the rest is blue. Let's make it a nice vibrant blue. Oh my god, it's Spider-Man. Holy shit. If you were, like, walking down the street and you saw him, you'd be like, oh my god, Spider-Man. Oh, and he has, he has the spider on his chest. Um, but spiders are a little scary. I know I drew them earlier, and I was terrified the entire time. So let's do, like, a little butterfly. Let's do, there we go. But he's, he still has the webs. He's, he's, like, truly insane insane abs see the outline of nip there this is him this is spider-man you might not like it but this is exactly what spider-man looks like this is him this is the guy oh my god i didn't know i was so good at drawing spider-man can I, I could make a career out of this, can I? Should I call Marvel? Should I, should I call the entity known as Marvel and say, hi, I don't know if you know this, but this is what Spider-Man looks like. And they'd be like, holy shit, you're right. We've had it wrong all these years. This is incredible. Like, please come in. Um legally now you're married to tom holland who plays the current spider-man um and you're also married to toby Maguire and andrew garfield and we live in <sighs> where would we live in in the dream that i had where we all were married and lived together this is an actual dream i had we lived in an abandoned firehouse so there was a <laughs> There was a big pole that we could slide down to get to the bottom floor. Um, and in case you're wondering, yes, this is after I saw the most recent Spider-Man movie, where I dreamed that I was married to Tom Holland, Andrew Garfield, and Tobey Maguire. But in my dream, Tom Holland was actually Spider-Man. The others were just there for moral support. <laughs> <sighs> But yeah, if I show this image to marvel.gov, then legally I'll be married to Tom Holland. Not a fan about Brexit, though, so I'm not going to be doing that. But I could. I have the option. It's called Turnip Pen. Oh, that's a fun pen. That pen feels good. I do like how it kind of lifts off, though. How it tapers better. Um. Okay, okay, that drawing didn't count. Even though it was perfect. Because it wasn't... I didn't use my imagination at all for it. This? I didn't use my imagination at all. I just drew Spider-Man. Okay. Let's see. How about... Hmm. God, coming up with ideas to draw is very hard. I'm gonna I'm gonna look up what should I draw. What should I draw? Ooh, a generator? Let's generate it. 
Um, uh, let's see. Ha <laughs> mm. Um Okay, that wasn't very helpful. It was like it was like a quiz and it's like asking you all these questions. Oh, here we go. Random things to draw. A TV. No thank you. <laughs> draw scissors. No thank you. Draw flamingo? Okay. Let's draw a flamingo. Flamingos are wild. Honestly, how dare they look like that? That should be a crime. It just it just doesn't make sense. Like realistically, flamingos aren't real. Okay. So they have like a kind of head curves down a bit. Uh, it curves down a little bit more. Comes out like that. Not so much like that, more like that. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Okay. Um, now let's see. Flamingos really have like swan like necks. They're kind of, they kind of are like swans just with legs for days. Swans with legs for days. Yeah. Um let's make this out here a little bit. <laughs> so I've been replaying Mass Effect uh all all three of them i i know there's like another another game mass effect game but i've never played that one and from what i've read about it i'm not too interested in playing that one but anyway uh i've been replaying it and i'm on mass effect 3 and this is spoilers for mass effect 3 okay spoilers for mass effect 3 when Thane, when Thane, okay, when Thane is fighting Kai Ren, Kai Len? Kai, Kai, Lai Ren, like, yeah. Lai, oh my god, I can't remember his freaking name. Kai Lang, yes, okay, Kai Lang. <sighs> Thane's fighting Kai Lang. And, like, Thane, who has a gun, is with three of his allies, all of whom have guns, and then Thane, the incredible assassin, runs full tilt at the enemy with a sword. And I'm like, are you kidding me? So, of course, he dies. This character who in the game is an incredible assassin, an incredible fighter, instead of using gun, which he and his three friends all have, he runs at emo boy with sword. And it, I, every time I'm furious because his three friends with gun don't do anything either. They just watch him fight Kai Lang and then die. I'm like, dudes, his death was essentially optional, and you chose for him to die by doing nothing. 
you could have done anything. Anything would have been more helpful than just standing there and being like, oh, oh no, he's done. I think this actually has to come out a little bit. That. I think that gets the shape a little better. And then this comes down. But yeah, that, that ugh, pisses me off so much because it's so unnecessary. And like, ugh, just dumb. Oh, there we go. That's, that's a better, that's a better flamingo shape. I guess. Yeah. I'm looking at an image of one and it just looks fake. Like there's no way flamingos are real. I've seen them IRL in real life. I don't know why I explained what IRL is. You know what that means. I've seen them in real life. I, I don't believe it. I refuse. They're fake. Like, look at this. They have a little... A leg comes out of this. A leg comes out of this and just, like, goes over here. It just, like, Fs off to nowhere. So it's kind of this way. And just, like, hangs there. And the legs are so teeny, too. Look at that. <laughs> but yeah, Mass Effect. Very good game. I was, I was thinking about streaming it, but I stream, well, in the past couple weeks... Uh, notwithstanding, I stream all the time. And I kind of wanted to just play a game that was for me. Okay, I instead erased all of it. I've also been thinking of getting Elden Ring. Because everyone freaking loves it. And I'm not a big fan of Souls games. I've played... I've played uh, some Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3. I wasn't a huge fan of either of them. Um, I did not beat them. I just, you know... got further in Bloodborne than I did in Dark Souls. Because the game, like... It stresses me out that everyone wants you dead... And I guess that one will go off, off canvas. Okay, their body is way too wide. Get over here, baby. There we go. Let's let's less wide that bird. Let's also bring this bring this down a, a, a bit, quite a bit. Oops. Okay. They have, like, feathers, not hair, but I don't want to draw that. Okay, this is... This is Flamingo, and they have kind of yellowish eyes. Let's see, and they are pink... So let's spray them. Let's spray them pink. It's a good flamingo color. Increase the hardness and the brush density. And the size. Nope. Oh my god, that's so big. There we go. Hmm. 
<laughs> Flamingo. So yeah, I kind of want to play Elden Ring though, because it looks like it looks more forgiving than the other games. Because if you come across something that's too strong, you can just leave and go explore other areas and get stronger. And also, I don't know, it just looks very pretty. Uh, so I'm thinking about getting that. I don't know if I'll, I'd stream it. I might, though. I, I have terrible reflexes. So everyone would just constantly be watching me die. But I think it could be fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at him. Look at this plublingo. Actually, I want to add a little bit more color. I want this, but I want this lighter. And this is almost, almost a white here. <laughs> oh, flamingo. Actually, put some dark there. Okay. Look at that. There's a flamingo. Let's see, I have its its leg kind of down there. So I'm going to spray. That looks purple. I'm gonna have it be in water. Mm hmm Yeah. That's a bird. Oh, gorgeous. Nailed it. 10 out of 10. All right. I think that is going to be it for the stream because my wrist is, is really starting to throb now. Um, so let's just go through and see... See the crimes we've committed today. So we have... Oh, wow, I drew a lot more than I thought I did. How do I even get to the other ones I've done? Okay. So here we have Wide Lad. Big, wide eyes, wide nose, little feetses, golden locks, but a tiny mouth for keeping secrets. Here we have... Where'd the ghost go? Where'd my, where's my ghost? Where did, where did the, where's the, the, oh, moved over here. Whoa. Ah, no. Ah, help. <laughs> uh, my ineptitude. It's showing. Okay. Anyway, we did wide lad. 
Then we did Ghost. And they're really surprised and a little scared because little little creepy crawlies are coming out of their coffee. But they're also blushing a bit because these creepy crawlies are a little sexy. One of them is wearing a lycra bodysuit. One of them is wearing a thong. And one of them, well, <laughs> it's wearing nothing at all. Then we did oops, our boyfriend. Little, little emo... Thick, wide-shouldered, narrow-waisted snake boy with a neckerchief. You know, just just to uh, tantalize the imagination. It's gorgeous. Then we did Mouth Boy. Just, just big old mouth. Exposed gums, but kind eyes. Then this is just a regular bunny. <laughs> just... Just to show that I I can draw. I'm not great, but, like, I, I can do it. Very practical sword, where the blade is curved and the handle is an actual snake. Another mouth boy. As you can see, there's still the, uh... There's still the hint of a pillow around them. Right here. We drew a pillow. Pillow became mouth. As is natural and normal. This is a little meerkat. They were tough for me to draw for some reason. Because I kept messing up the face. But we got there. This is a picture perfect. Just not even an artistic representation of Spider-Man. This just is Spider-Man in all their glory. And like I said earlier, if I were to show this to Marvel... Uh, Tom Holland, Andrew Garfield, and Tobey Maguire would legally be married to me. But I I just don't want that burden at the moment. So I'm I'm holding off, but maybe maybe like next month or, or so I'll I'll marry the three of them. And then a flamingo. Look at that. We did it. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for joining me on this adventure let's call it sure yeah adventure and i i like doing this so i'll be drawing again soon let's say or at, at some point in the near future so thanks so much for watching you can follow me on twitter at fantasize me pod uh you know see when i'm gonna be streaming see the stupid things i'm tweeting about and listen to my podcast, Fantasize Me, the podcast where I take characters real or imagined, and I fantasize them as D&D characters. You can listen to that wherever you listen to podcasts. Until next time, friends. Bye.